morning. I am so delighted to honor you today uh, as being one of the very best teachers in the entire state of Illinois. We are so proud of you, uh, Senor Smith. Thank and you. I just want to say from my heart to yours, congratulations. Thank you. This is really because the kids and the families that I work with, because you walk in every day and they just inspire you to do better, to go further, to challenge them to be their best selves. And um, that's really what this is about. It's really not about me, it's about them. Elizabeth, thank you so much for your service to Lincoln, to your students. Um, I couldn't say enough about the amazing job that you do, how flexible you are, how attentive you are, how patient <laughs> you are with not only our students, but also our families. We are so happy that you are here and I couldn't be more honored to honor you today. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> my pleasure. It's my An amazing leader. He is um, such a giving person and will, you know, I, it, it could almost make you cry at how much he does, not only for the students, but even down to making sure that we get home safe. So I couldn't be, again, more honored to present our famous Mr. C with his Teacher of the Year Award. Thank you for all that you do, all that you are, and I continue to just watch you excel, and I am so glad to be a part of that journey with you. One of the greatest gifts to be able to give to anyone is the ability to teach someone how to do something. And I think that's what education allows me to do. But more importantly, is just working in District 97, they allow me that freedom and that flexibility to be me, to genuinely be me, you know, as a black male educator and, 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 and strive and put that information out in the world and work with those students. Working here at Lincoln is especially important to me and uh, sentimental because my mom actually taught here for 30 plus years. She was actually the first African American teacher hired here at Lincoln. And for me to be able to walk through the hallway and follow the patterns and footprints that she left and touch a wall that she may have touched, she's since passed away. Um, but it really means a lot to me following those footsteps along with my wife who also works here uh, and my father who actually was a custodian here in the building as well. So that's how my parents met. Um, so it really means a lot to me. Uh, so we're here this morning to uh, acknowledge all of the wonderful work that Ms. T has contributed to Brooks Middle School in her role as a teacher assistant. Uh, she is the cornerstone of uh, always being there for students, going the extra mile, uh, make sure that they have their work done, calls them, keeps in touch with them and their families. As a TA in the classroom, she's looking out for not only the students that are in the classroom, in the hallways, she's checking in, she's high-fiving, she's building relationships in every place that she finds herself with students. So I just want to say thank you for being you, for always being thoughtful and being dedicated to our students. It is an honor and a pleasure to be here today to congratulate you on this amazing honor. I am so proud of you. Thank you for your dedicated Thank service you. to our staff and also to our students and families that we serve. Congratulations. No one can build relationships with students, teachers, families, community, like this young woman right here. Amazing person. Couldn't have happened to anyone but. Thank you for your service. Thank you. I started out um, being a teaching assistant, of course, and then uh, I started just sitting in on the basketball games and going to uh, some of the practices. And I was an assistant coach for like 13 years, and then I finally made head coach, and I've been doing that. Sometimes you have to meet kids where they are to know where they're coming from to understand why they're not excelling in school. And I just love the community, I love the families, I love the kids, I love my coworkers, I love what I do. I go about my day every day being the change that I want to see. I don't know, all of our students just look up to her when I did this. A lot of families that I would call and ask for some support with, they would um, start crying immediately knowing that she is so worth this award. So yeah, she is just amazing. <laughs> and I'm so proud of you. Makes me excited to come to work every day, makes me laugh. 
um, and truly puts kids at her center. Uh, so we're all so proud of Miss T. Thank you. And I wish I could hug her <laughs> right now, um, but it really is, she is so deserving of this honor. So uh, we're so, so proud of her. Hi, I'm Monique Villasenor, and I am the speech language therapist at Proviso West High School. And I am exceptionally honored to receive this award. Uh, I'm shocked and surprised as well. I knew I wanted to do something where I was gonna be helping others. Um, and actually way back in high school, I thought I would be a physical therapist. Do I wanna be a teacher or a physical therapist? And I came across speech therapy and I fell in love and never looked back. Going into work and working with the people that I do, it makes it really, really easy to put in all of my effort, day in and day out, and I love the students, and I love what I do. Tracy, this is so exciting for everything that you've done for the kids, for the community, being a graduate of Elmwood Park, and then being able to have this award is just something we're all so proud of, and we're thankful to have you a part of our district and for all that you do for our kids. I'm so extremely proud that the State Board recognizes you for the good work that you do and to bring um, positivity to um, what's taking place at Site John Mills. So thank you for all that you do, truly, uh, from the bottom of my heart. Um, I do recognize it all and, and I value everything you do. Thank you for nominating me and thank you for always pushing the staff. You're very mindful about there's always room to grow, always self-reflecting and evaluating. You guys do a really great job leading us. This is for you guys too. <laughs> and, and Tracy, we just, we love collaborating with you and Frank and I know that we can go and have great conversations with you and like you said, really work together to give the best education to the kids that we possibly can and like we're really proud to have you here and work with you. Yeah, it's a, it's a great place to work. It is. <laughs> Onward Trojans. Onward Trojans. I hope that every teacher, student, parent who's watching this shares a little bit in this award with me. I know that this job that we do as teachers relies on all of us to be working together. If there are teachers who are listening to this, I hope this award inspires you just to really make connections with your students and build relationships because that's the fun part about what we get to do every day and that's really what I see success in my classroom. So hopefully everyone is making the best of this situation and building those relationships and seeing their students grow every day. Uh, Leah Gochi, I'm the superintendent of, of the schools in Elmwood Park, Community Unit School District 401. We're so thankful to be honored with this recognition for the hard work that everybody in the district has been doing. Um, you know, we're truly a collaborative team and to get this recognition is, is something second to none and we're so thankful that the state has these awards even during the, the time of a pandemic. I'm Jim Jennings, the Assistant Superintendent for Finance and Operations. The work behind the scenes between a lot of the committees that we have, a great number of those uh, that involve a lot of the different teachers throughout the district. Um, but then also non-certified staff. So it's a large collaboration uh, to get us where we're at today and uh, we couldn't do it without everyone's assistance. So again, this is a great award for the entire district. Thank you. I'm Dr. Terry Smith. I'm the Assistant Superintendent for Student Services in Elmwood Park, District 401. And I just want to echo the sentiments that have already been stated. And this is a great award for the, the staff, the students, the community. It's just a, attributed to all the hard work that we as a team, as a district have done. And we are thankful for the, to the Illinois State Board of Education for the award.